the hive and your EPQ. For your EPQ, you will be expected to use a wide range of relevant resources. There are all sorts of sources which may be useful for your project, people, places and documents. We have a range of resources at the Hive. For most EPQ projects, it's the books and research journals available from the Hive that will be the most useful. These can help you to understand and recognise what is already known about your topic and to place your research in the context of existing research. Books frequently provide a good overview of a topic. You can borrow 12 standard loan books from the Hive or other Worcestershire libraries, plus one university high demand book. The university high demand books are the ones with the blue tape. You can reserve standard loan books in advance and collect them from a Worcestershire library of your choice. Reservations are free if you are under 18 or 80 pence a book if you are 18 or over. In order to manage the number of people in the hive and to help keep everyone safe, browsing is limited to 20 minutes, so it's a good idea to decide what you want before you visit. You can do this using the Hive catalogue. Search Google for the Hive Worcester and follow the links for catalogue search. Search for words or phrases which describe your topic. It's usually best to keep it fairly general when searching for books. You can use the filters on the left to help you find what you want. If you find a book that looks interesting, click on the title. From this page, you may, may be able to see more information about the book to help you decide if it's going to be useful. You can also see if the book is in the library now and available. And you can see if the book is a university high demand book. You will be able to place reservations for standard loan books from here. If you want to find the book in the library, this page gives you the information that you need. It tells you which library in Worcestershire the book is in. If the book is in the hive, it tells you which floor it's on. And the shelf mark will help you track down the individual book you want as the books are kept in shelf mark order. Staff will be on hand to help point you in the right direction. It can be helpful to have photographs of this page for the books you want with you when you visit. If you handle any books you don't want to borrow, please put them to quarantine in the boxes provided. Journal articles and research papers can be useful for your project because this is where developments in research are published in full. Research articles usually tackle more specific subjects and are more in depth than a book. You can find some research papers for free on the internet using open access search tools such as Core. But many journals have to be paid for before you can access their articles. You have free access to some of the journals the University of Worcester has paid for when you visit the Hive. The Hive research databases allow you to cross search lots of journal titles. Use a computer in the Hive or your own laptop using the Hive Wi-Fi to find articles relevant to your project. You can only access these databases inside the Hive building. Search Google for the Hive research databases to see what is available. It's quite a long list. At the bottom of the list, is a document describing all the different databases so that you can decide which one might be useful for your project. Access to Research is a database of research articles that you can use in most public libraries and not just the Hive. You can search and view abstracts or short descriptions of the article from anywhere 
and then visit a public library to view the articles in full. Database searching requires a different technique to searching the internet with a search engine. Databases are not smart enough to know what you want if you just type in your research question. You need to identify the keywords for your topic. In the question, how can we protect tigers from extinction? Tigers, extinction and protect are the key words. Other people may describe those concepts in other ways, so it pays to think about alternate terms and related concepts. I can use these terms to construct my search. I want to find out about ways in which people are protecting tigers, so I'm going to search for tigers and conservation. This will look for any articles in the database that include both the word tigers and the word conservation. Some of these articles may discuss the risks for tigers, but if I want to find out more about the risks of extinction for tigers, I can search for this explicitly. I've added an asterisk to the end of the word extinct in order to search the database for any word starting with extinct. This search will find articles that include the word tigers and the word extinct. It will also find articles that include the word tigers and the word extinction. And it will find any articles that include the word tigers and the word endangered. If you want to visit the Hive to use the research databases, you can get help with planning your research before you visit. We can help you choose which databases to use for your topic, and we can help you plan an effective search. Contact me directly on r.sykes2 at worc.ac.uk or email the team at askalibrarian at worc.ac.uk. If you want, you can make an online appointment with a librarian to discuss your project. Be sure to tell us that you're doing the EPQ and where you are studying. Visiting the Hive. When you arrive at the Hive, you will be greeted at the door by one of our friendly staff. They will help you to check in and point you in the right direction. Please wear a face covering in line with government guidance. Inside the hive, lots of measures are in place to keep you safe and maintain social distancing. Staff will be on hand to help if you have any questions. Please use the stairs if you are able but the lifts are available to individuals or social bubble groups. Toilets, including accessible toilets, are available. If you wish to use a study space or computer in the hive, you will need to book. Book a computer with a scanner if you wish to scan chapters from our books and email them to yourself. You can scan up to one chapter from most books. Telephone 01905 822 722 to book your space. Bookings start on the hour and are for 50 minutes or for one hour and 50 minutes. You can book two slots in one day. If you book two slots back to back, you will need to leave the building between bookings so that staff can clean. To borrow books, use the computers or use the Wi-Fi, you need to be a library member. Library cards for any Worcestershire library are valid. Thank you for listening. We look forward to welcoming you at The Hive.